I believe that they gave me a raw deal because this industry is a monster and is the same monster that these people were trying to warn you about about what the hell was going on because there was a lot of stuff I couldn't understand like when you're seven and someone strokes you and it feels good our future is our child. When I first came over here, I was in my mid-twenties. Stunning disclosures made by Mel Gibson in the film The Release of Sound of Freedom and reports that Hollywood's elite were allegedly involved in some truly immoral activities created quite a stir in Tinseltown. Despite having a star-studded cast and crew, Hollywood is ecstatic about its current state of affairs and is furious about it. Freedom, directed by Alejandra Gomes Monteverdi, exposes the dark world of legal human trafficking while exposing frightening techniques employed by the privileged to ensnare naive persons in their harmful networks. Why isn't a movie with a recognizable actor, a recognizable director, and promotional material from none other than Mel Gibson, himself being screened in theaters? It seems that the film's theme has sparked some strong emotions. You might be wondering why this important movie hasn't received more publicity, press coverage, or support. The movie makes the claim that some of Hollywood's most powerful people may have participated in these kinds of illegal operations. And the man whose name has been connected to everything is none other than the infamous Oprah Winfrey allegations, which have been rife with disparaging remarks. Online trolls claim she recruited potential victims using her influential talk show, grooming them and offering them opportunities for success. What do you think about these allegations? Do you think they could be true, or do you think they're unfounded? However, it has been claimed that Oprah's silence on the matter is only aggravating the situation and damaging her reputation as people wonder whether she is guilty or not Jamie Foxx and Dwayne The Rock Johnson have also been linked to this scandal. Online critics argue that The Rock Johnson uses his global charitable work as a cover for his scandalous activities, and that he uses these trips to locate possible victims in underdeveloped areas. Dwayne The Rock Johnson has expressed his outrage and amazement at the allegations made against him. He has categorically denied being involved in any such actions but it is important to ask why they are only now coming to light and what that means for the future of Hollywood. Supposedly, Dwayne made negative reports, I've devoted my professional life to entertaining people and bettering the world. Not taking part in the heinous activities, this movie implies. I strongly reject this and will vigorously contest these claims. I recently deleted a tweet that expressed disbelief to these allegations, to which The Rock replied in response to the criticism of the film and the recent online abuse he's received. The Rock not only denies the allegations, but also takes serious offense at the idea that they were made, and he emphasizes his commitment to enlightening people and improving the world while vehemently denying any involvement in such heinous crimes. As for whether this response is adequate in light of the seriousness of the allegations and The Rock's influence, should he be doing more? Should he be using his platform to advocate for stricter laws and enforcement, support victims, and raise awareness about human trafficking? You might be wondering why Nell Gibson chose to promote Sound of Freedom when she could have easily chosen another charity. With themes of oppression, sacrifice, and the fight for independence, Mel Gibson has never shied away from controversy. His films, such as Braveheart and The Passion of the Christ, have not only entertained audiences, but also sparked discussions about history, faith, and human rights. In keeping with this tradition, the film examines the widespread issue of human trafficking, which affects people all over the world. Gibson is once again used his status to advance this film and promote a significant issue. Mel Gibson's filmography demonstrates his enduring fascination with tales based on true stories of bravery, perseverance, and the indomitable human spirit. His filmography is filled with stories of people who, despite all odds, display extraordinary bravery and fortitude 
in the face of adversity. The song Sound of Freedom, which tells the tale of Tim Ballard, a former government agent who took the bold step to leave the security of his position to undertake a dangerous mission, is the best example of this theme inclination. He risked everything to devote his life to the courageous cause of saving children who were caught up in the horrible web of human trafficking. This story is not simply one of heroism, but also one of profundity, tenacity, and sacrifice. Ballard's journey is fraught with danger and uncertainty, but his unwavering commitment to his goal drives him forward. His story is a testament to the power of the human will and the extent to which one can go when driven by a purpose greater than oneself. This theme is in line with themes Gibson has previously explored in his work, such as the battles in Braveheart and the difficulties with faith in the Passion of the Christ in Sound of Freedom. Gibson is still delving into tales, but he shows how the human spirit can persevere in the face of seemingly impossible challenges. Gibson continues this tradition by highlighting a problematic part of our globe and the heroic efforts of those battling it. However, there's another level to consider given Gibson's frequently tense relationship with Hollywood. The movie hypothesizes that some of Gibson's earlier works may have been influenced by his frequent conflicts with Hollywood. The movie also connects to Gibson's earlier works and demonstrates his dedication to conveying tales of real-life heroes and their unflinching resiliency. It's likely that he sees Sound of Freedom as a way to challenge the industry and initiate a conversation about its hierarchies. We encourage you, the viewers, to think about these issues, but we also invite you to conduct your own research and come to your own conclusions as we conclude our in-depth analysis of the movie Sound of Freedom. However, keep in mind that these are merely speculations. You should take them with a grain of salt because the only person who can truly explain Mel Gibson's motivations for pushing Sound of Freedom is Mel Gibson himself. It is evident that we have extensively examined its disquieting revelations. And in discussions it has provoked as we wrap up, we want to remind you to stay connected with us by hitting the subscribe button. By doing so, you join our community and stay up to date with the latest from Hollywood. But don't stop there. Make sure to activate notifications by hitting the bell icon, ensuring you're instantly notified whenever we release a new video. We appreciate your support and all insightful analyzes and stimulating debates on the world of cinema in a day of media overload. It's important to remain educated and critical. That's all for today, guys. Until next time, be careful, be interested, and keep asking questions.